Hey guys, what's poppin'? What's good? Welcome to this vlog. So in today's vlog, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I study for the MCAT. I did take the MCAT last year. I didn't quite score what I wanted to score, so I will be taking the MCAT again in April. So it's now January 13th. I've been studying for about two weeks now, so I'm giving myself about three months of MCAT preparation. I have quite a bit to do today, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what my agenda is for the day and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. So every morning I start off my morning with a Jack Weston Cars Passage. If you're not familiar with Jack Weston, definitely hop on it. It's a free resource that you can use to do Cars Passages. They upload a Cars Passage every day that you can do. So I always start off my morning doing a Cars Passage and then I will review anything that I didn't finish reviewing from the day before and then I will review my flashcards and then I'll start getting into my questions for the day. Every day my goal is to do at least 20 questions per section. Last time I studied for the MCAT, I focused way too much on content review and I did not incorporate enough practice questions. And I think that that was my biggest downfall. So today I'll be doing questions in chemistry on bonding and reactions. Biology, I'll be doing questions on DNA and gene expression. Biochem, I'll be doing questions on nucleotides, carbohydrates, and lipids. And then I will be doing a few questions for physics and thermodynamics. And then for psychology, I'll be doing learning, memory, and cognition questions. So it's a lot. So let's go ahead and get into it. just finished my car's passage and I got a 3 out of 5 correct. It's been pretty consistent with what I've been doing this week. On Monday I got a 3 out of 5 and then yesterday I got a 4 out of 5 so I'm improving but I'm trying to get that one passage where I can just get 5 out of 5. So we're improving, we're making progress so I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to go ahead and move on to content review now. I just finished my review of my questions from yesterday. I finished most of my review yesterday, so today all I had to do was review my biology and my psychology questions. And for my review, I've been using the Kaplan books. I have the whole set, and I've been using these to review. I also have the Princeton Review books, just because I took a Princeton Review course for my last, the last time I took the MCAT. But I prefer the Kaplan books. I think that the Princeton Review books are a lot bigger. I'll just give you a comparison. This is the Princeton Review Biology book, and this is the Kaplan. Look at the size comparison. So the Princeton Review goes a lot more in depth than the Kaplan books. I think the Kaplan books do a good job at explaining things, and, and I like the fact that they have uh, mnemonics and like key concepts and stuff on the margins. In the Princeton Review book, it's really just <laughs> content. Like you don't get mnemonics and other things like that. And like I said, it's just, it goes a lot more in detail. So if I were reading these, if I were reading the chapters for these for content review, it would take me a lot longer than if I were reading the Kaplan books. So if there is something that I need more information on, I will crack open my Princeton review book. But honestly, I haven't really been using it that much. I've just been using my Kaplan review, review books. I also found this really, really helpful document on, I think it was Reddit, I think where someone, they use like the Kaplan books and they put like all the mnemonics and a bunch of like, other things from each chapter or each book that the Kaplan offers and they put it all in one big like Excel document. So I went ahead and I printed out the mnemonics and like and it's all separated by like the subject and the topic and then the mnemonic and then it has the meaning. This is a lifesaver. I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description box. It has really been helping me a ton. But yeah, that's a little tool that I've been using with me. And one thing that I really wanna start doing next week um, is I want to start drawing out 
my amino acids every day because I, I know all of my amino acids. I know the three letter codes. I know the one letter codes. I just don't really know them. I don't have their structures memorized. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start doing that every morning. It's just like taking a few and drawing out their structure every morning so that I can get that in my head because I think it's important. I ran across a couple questions with the amino acids and they're asking me like, which amino acid is this? And it was just a picture of it and I was like, you got me, I, I don't know. So I think I'm gonna start doing that next week. I think this is working well for me. I think doing these questions and letting it guide my content review is working better than just doing content review on random things. So I'm excited. I just took a couple pages of notes and I made some flashcards for the stuff that I needed to review. And that's pretty much it for my content review for the stuff that I did yesterday. And now I'm about to go ahead and knock out these questions. I just finished my practice questions for today and I will be honest with you today was a bit rough it was a bit rough um, so doing practice questions like letting it guide your study it can be a little discouraging sometimes because when you get tested on things that you don't really know it can be discouraging but I'm trying to look at the bright side and say like okay I don't know this I still have time to study it and get to know it and it's better for me to take these practice questions and not know them on there than to get on the test and not know it so i have quite a bit of content review i need to do tomorrow i've been doing pretty good on biology and psychology but my gym chem and my physics is very it's very rocky um i really i hate physics first of all physics me and physics we're not friends we're not buddies but um gym chem i just have a lot to brush up on because it's been a while since i took gym chem so I have a lot of work to do with that, but I think today was an overall a pretty productive day. I did a bunch of content review this morning and I did these questions and I think I'm going to start reviewing these questions maybe a little bit tonight just so I can get a head start on it and then finish them tomorrow. I think next week I'm going to take a practice test for the first time since I've been doing these questions and incorporating my new study schedule. So hopefully this process and the study schedule that I'm making for myself is helping me to improve my score. That's all for this video you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed coming along with me as I study for the MCAT today and I'll see you guys in the next video.